Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and today for you guys got a really cool and interesting video to share with you guys today once again We're back on Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance looking at yet another sort of secret slash hidden room Found within the files of Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance So this sort of hidden room was actually found by the 13th vessel and this is something that I haven't seen anywhere in the uh, kind of Kingdom Hearts community, so this is extremely interesting. So this is the room right here, as you guys can see. Now, of course this room isn't actually accessible by normal means of just, you know, playing the game. You actually have to hack yourself kind of into the game, mod it via a room hack. So, no, if you're wondering, you can't actually access this room. There's no sort of hidden pathway or door or portal in Dream Drop Distance. This is primarily done through a hack. But what is interesting is this room is actually within the files of Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. Yes, this was a room developed and created by Square Enix. And it's very possible that this could actually be some cut content from the game. Now, what is most interesting about this room is the doors. So let's look at the doors. You guys will notice that these doors are actually Castle Oblivion doors. They're not fully textured, but they are actually the exact same model of the Castle Oblivion doors. Now this could actually mean one thing, perhaps maybe at some stage during Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance's development, Square Enix might have actually been planning on adding Castle Oblivion as an actual world or place that you visit in the game. We of course know that Castle Oblivion is a very, very important area within Kingdom Hearts, and perhaps maybe through the kind of story progression of Dream Drop Distance, perhaps maybe Riku or Sora was actually meant to visit Castle Oblivion. Now what this actually seems like it is, is it seems like this room is probably a testing slash debug room, which meant that Square Enix probably made this room primarily for testing purposes. But another kind of interesting conclusion that uh, the 13th Vessel came up with is he mentioned that perhaps maybe Square Enix were testing out some sort of different navigation system for Dream Drop Distance. You'll of course notice that above two of the doors in the room, we have North and South. So it's sort of unknown as to why the N and the S are hovering over those doors. Who really knows? But what is making me scratch my head is the fact that why exactly would Square Enix go to the trouble of adding specifically the Castle Oblivion doors in this room? I mean, if it is a debug or testing room, why not just add normal kind of rectangles for the doors? I mean, why even add doors at all? I mean, what is the purpose? If this is just a blank room used for testing, then why exactly do you need these specific sort of doors located in the room? I'm really not too sure myself. It is very, very confusing. It does actually look like this room is a debug slash testing room. But once again, what makes me think otherwise is the fact that this room actually has the Castle Oblivion doors. Of course, though, it will always remain a mystery unless Tetsuya Nomura for some reason one day mentions it, which I highly doubt that. However, it's really, really cool to see that modders are now in the process of going through the different things to do with Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance as, you know, modding in Dream Drop Distance really isn't too common so it's absolutely amazing that modders are now going through the files of Dream Drop Distance. I want to quickly thank the 13th Vessel for allowing me to share this with you guys. He is the one who came across this hidden room. I will leave his channel in the description below but otherwise guys till next time I'll catch you later. Peace.